Okay, let's get back to American history here. We've had a two-week layoff due to COVID-19, so before I get you into the next two weeks uh, to wrap up Unit 9 on 1950s American culture, I want to take you through, just in case anyone's interested, go ahead and check out this folder I put together of a lot of general articles. Um, China's been making progress with this. Uh, this Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy has got some great articles on it. And this is an old one that I linked, actually. And that's out of the University of Minnesota, actually. Some good modeling. A lot of that's been, been playing out lately. Um, CDC map. You see how it's going in the United States. We're checking out. Got some numbers here. This one's a good one. Uh, you can kind of get an explanation of why we're not reacting the same way that it would be if it was influenza. A lot of people are making that comparison, including our president, but there's a reason even he's obviously uh, advising the government and the American people to, to do things that we would never do with uh, traditional influenza. And definitely take a moment to check this out. I've been checking this out every day. We've been gone uh, since I found out about it. So let's check that out. Get that wide open in a browser here. Doesn't, I think, quite show up so well in mobile devices, but on a nice wide PC here. I really like the display here. So it's, it's Sunday, March 29th, the evening here. And I've been watching this just grow, grow, grow in terms of the uh, cases just really going up day by day and the deaths of course and watching uh, Spain and Italy eclipse China um, really interesting and you can zero in on things here so this is all interactive you can push this out you can zoom in um, and get get dialed in anywhere you want so you can see you know if you're remember from global studies this idea of spatial awareness and having an understanding right? and I just saw an article talk about how uh, you know Chile or China warned the world and then Italy didn't listen and then Italy warned you know Spain and France and then they're they're hearing it and then they warned us and and now we didn't maybe listen soon enough and and now is, is the rest of the rest of the United States going to listen to New York because you can see how that's really really blowing up out there um, President Trump today just issued a quarantine not a quarantine sorry but uh, some travel advisories and restrictions out in the tri-state area out there so kind of interesting we thought it was blowing up in the Seattle area and that seems to be nothing compared to that. A lot more to discuss. Maybe we'll get a live chat going. But really, really great resource for you to check out if you haven't been already. Um, even the graphics pull out. You can see the explosion in the United States. If you look at their arc here, just kind of day by day, the number of cases, you know, just look how minuscule those cases, you know, and then look at our caseload just explode up right so that's why you're seeing some of these numbers that these that would blow up that the epi epidemiologists and, and the other politicians listening to them had, had warned us about so and you can isolate here so you can just get the caseloads by them their particular graphs etc so check that out if you get a chance but uh, if you're not interested, let's get you back to how this is going to work here. So for the next two weeks, let's wrap up 50s American culture. This is going to be your baby, right? This is your schedule. Uh, we'll get this unpublished here in the morning, but, uh, excuse me, published. But this is going to be your guide. This is your pacing guide. This is your baby. So if anything, refer back to these links, these directions, Try to pace yourself and stay on time and get the job done so you can move on. Uh, if you want to work ahead, you're, you're, you're welcome to as much as 
um, the the dates allow. But this is this is what you came for. All the links are there, the videos, the lectures, um, and anything and everything that you need is here and then here. Uh, I've scanned the textbook for you to read. If you have any questions, looking up terms, you know, completing your vocab sheet. So if you need to redo that, if you don't have that with you at home, that's all there for you. Uh, here are your discussions. Um, you know, when you get that published, you'll have the due dates when they're due. We will email you. Um, well, not, uh, Mr. Deweese and I will use our daytime to make sure, sure that you're getting these assignments in on time. And then here's where you turn in your study guide. And in the end here, this is where you'll take that test. We'll publish those when the time is, time is up for that and then you'll take your different learning targets there. Now one last thing, or last few things is I'll be posting some updates, see if I'll get those uh, posted here, post another video or maybe even just some audio if necessary. And of course it goes without saying that when it comes to taking you know quizzes and doing the work and your tests that we expect you know your academic honesty and integrity um, we want you to be timely and then some of us will find out if we really like uh, taking online courses if, or if or things weren't maybe all so bad when we were in person together so if you have any questions make sure you uh, email don't don't wait and don't don't waste a lot of time looking for something certainly can we can have errors um, you know we haven't leveraged you know an entire course using everything in Schoology so we're going to have some growing pains as teachers too. So, so I'll be patient and communicate well and, and we'll be, be able to move forward. Talk to you soon.